Hello and welcome back to another installment of the adventures of Jake and Trishy. Today we're starting off our day by trying to catch a fish out there. This rod's been living on the dash for quite some time now, which is convenient, but it also serves a purpose because it stops stuff sliding down. I actually did lose Trishy's butter knife down there somewhere, so no good. This is where the fishing gear lives, behind the fridge and the freezer. Let's go with these old rusty and trusties. Oh, not so trusty, they're basically rusted shut now. And let's go with this old bad boy. Throw this one. Check this bird out. We're right on high tide at the moment. It's about 8.30 in the morning. First cast of the day. Number two. Quick change of plans, we got the old plastic on now. Here's the third cast for the day. Four. Five. Six. Oh, I thought that one might be a bit dangerous. We're snagged. Oop. Got it back. Oh, here's a nice flat rock. Six, I think. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. That'll do for now, I think. We got a line out with a bait on it, and we're gonna go make a coffee. Oh no, we're out of juice on this bad boy. We're gonna have to get the full cooker out to cook. This little butane bottle had just enough power to boil the water today. So we've got one last coffee in. Oh, direction switch. Bad guys on the smoothies. I thought I'd just show you quickly where we put our club lock in the day when we're not using it. So behind my seat here, we've got our little control box and we've worked out that this can actually sit nicely there. Come a bit closer, Trishy. And not only is it out of the way, but it actually serves a purpose. So it creates like this kind of barrier where if we we're gonna charge something like say this little light, once we've got it plugged in, we can actually sit it behind the club lock, like that, 
and it just stops stuff sort of protruding forwards and getting stomped. And the same if we were to do like our AirPods, we can put them down there or our head torches or whatever. So yeah, that's where our club lock lives. No fish, just for a change. So we're just leaving Burnett Heads now, which is just north of Bundaberg, and we're gonna go check out somewhere around Agnes Waters. Time to hit the road. crazy are these? So you can see there's a hole in the middle which I think a crab goes in and somehow there's all these little balls of sand which I presume have come out of that hole. Isn't that cool? I was just cruising along the beach here and I came across this little palm zone. Check out the palm zone. This is the pathway from the beach back to the road. Apparently some construction happening at the moment, but still a pretty awesome place. So we've been to Agnes Waters this afternoon. We've spent a bit of time on the beach there, did a little bit of exercise. And now we've gone down the road to a place called 1770. I'm not sure if it's like 1770 the numbers or if they spell it out in letters. It seems different on different maps, but anyway. Um, yeah, we're gonna cook some food now because we're very late to lunch. It's, uh, it's just gone five o'clock and we're cooking lunch, so. We're just at like a day use area kind of place now. And the drawer hits a solid open there. And then we got the table. The table's got a leg under it that just gives you some extra support. There we go. That's the setup. This little cooker by chance just perfectly fit in there. That wasn't by design. Hose is a bit tangled. Yeah. Pop out this little dust cap. And that's the setup. Here's some chicken we cut up a few days back. Tongs. Whoa. While that's happening, I'll show you what we do with our rubbish or how we store our rubbish. So we've just got this classic bin bag, which usually lives in here. But when we're cooking, we just use these straps. And if you put it through the little tooth there, sort of strap it up keeps it off the ground so if you're somewhere muddy you know the bag doesn't get dirty and then put inside the wheel bag and yeah we just hang our rubbish like that what do you reckon guys pretty good bit of scrumptious plain chicken and a 
bit of scrumptious plain, plain rice. rice that I left on for too long and now have got cooked to the bottom of the pot. Oh dear. There we go. So Bad Gaz just portions out what she'd like for dinner and then I just have the rest of both of these and pour them into one instead of using a bowl so we don't have extra dishes. You gotta do the camera, you goose, not the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today. See ya!